So we um we have not made life easy for ourselves, folks. Ah, uh, four wins if we want to make playoffs. Four games left. Let's see how it goes. Hey guys, what's up? Irish Emerald here and welcome to our week seven. Yes, week seven battle in FIFA where this week we're going up against the sphere coach of the Winnipeg Wobbuffets. Link to his draft league profile will be in the description down below. Definitely go check him out. The situation right now, you guys, is that we are sitting two and four after a couple of skeptical losses, especially last week was tough. And we, we, if we want to get six wins, which is my target at Stars, both FIFA and uh, UBL seasons, I need six wins in one of these leagues. That's basically it to guarantee my work work of qualification. So for us to be able to do that, I gotta win out. I gotta win the remaining four games and it's gonna be tough. Uh, it's not something that we haven't not previously done, but it's very hard the fact that we know that we have no room for error and that's gonna be tricky. Now, full disclosure, if we lose this week and we get to five, and I know you could potentially get to five and five, but I won't be putting too much more effort into the rest of my FIFA season. Maybe I will if we, there's a chance we can get um, into playoffs. Because if we do get into playoffs, it's a bit, it's a huge. But um, I definitely would be more so on the line of focusing more on UBL, get my six wins there, that kind of thing. But look, we're not out of this just yet. Want to grab a win, and we'll see how it gets. Uh, we'll see how we do. But yeah, our opponent's team, as you can see from here now, consists of Clefable, Gliscor, Heatran, Mega Slowbro, Alola Muck. Neuvern, Reggie Leckley, Chestnut, Quagsire, Slack King, and Waylord. I won't lie, it hurts the fact that not only am I going up against my channel mascot, but I'm also going up against my own team mascot on one team. Um, you look at this team, you guys probably know me well enough by now, this is not something I would draft, like, at all. My, do my dog is decided to just go nuts all of a sudden, but anyways. Uh, if you hear him in the background, don't mind him. But, um... Yeah, this is not a team I would draft. Clefable, Gliscor, he tried is just way too passive. Oh, sorry, it's just I need I, I need offense. I try on offense. For me, this is mo is one of the most disgusting teams drafted because it's just bulk with a fast uh, revenge killer Neuvern and Regilecki and Chestnut to provide some spikes and then they've uh, added stacking as revenge killer as well. It's disgusting. I hate it. But it's going to be a nuisance to deal with. Hopefully we can, particularly because he's got two unaware Pokemon. That's very much problematic, but we'll see how it gets along. Um, but with that being said, let me show you my team. First thing we're bringing is Ponyboy, Arkeldeo, uh, Hold the Leftovers, Hydro Pump, Aura Sphere, Calm Mind, the fifth turn is the moveset. Enough speed to outrun the Gliscor. And the idea here is that if he's not Calm Mind, uh, Clefable, we should be able to kind of do an awful lot of damage here with Keldeo. I'll be able to click or uh, I'll be able to click um, call mines, set up, spam the aura sphere, spy, spam hydro pump. Those two stab moves our opponent does not like dealing with in the slightest, and that is pretty pretty nice. I will not lie. So hopefully we can do that. The flip turn is then for momentum, and I think we should have a good time with this. I think Kaleo has a really good matchup here. Uh, it's just a matter of finding the right spot for us to set up. Um, I'm looking at set up in front of the Heatran, and set up in front of the Gliscor. Um, and potentially in front of the Quagsire if we know what that is but that's where I'm looking to set up and hopefully it we can do that business next up I'm bringing Star Lord the Oxus Defense Hold the Leftovers Psychic Shadow Ball Comite and Taunt is the moveset looking at leading with this thing I think this week and um, the idea here is that I lead I taunt I then set up Calm Minds I then start spamming um, buttons the idea here is like because I'm also taunting and Calm Mind regardless if it's a uh, uh, if it's on a work the fable I can taunt that to prevent it from healing up and also prevent it from spamming um from spam from spamming so uh toxics and such so I can just gradually wear that thing down by just sussing out the damage so which is absolutely fantastic. Um uh, I've no speed to outrun the Clefable and the psychic there is for the light of it's for main stab and shadow ball is there for the slow bro. Next door bring wetlands our size retort hone the leftovers Knock off Toxic Earthquake and Stealth Rock is the move set. I want to get rocks up. I think it's very important. Um, knock off to remove all the boots that our opponent might be wearing. So in that way I can get gradual residual damage on my opponent. Toxic because I'm probably going to be being in Chestnut or Neuvern or something like that. So being a Toxic, that would be very nice. Earthquake then is for the Alola Muck. Uh, this guy com comes in on Heatran, comes in on... Uh, the Quagsire and we'll be able to kind of just you know wear things down so really glad to be inside the Toad hopefully you can do the business 
after that range, Jubilee, Artoga Kiss. This look, you, you've seen this set before. You're not going to go too much into it. Air Slash, Roost, Nasty Plot, and Oar Spheres, the moveset. That's a slightly different thing. But it's again, Nasty Plot, and we just hit as hard as we possibly can. I'm bringing enough speed to outspeed. I think it's Max Speed Chestnut. Um, if I remember correctly. Oh, no, sorry. Max Speed, Max speed Heatran. Max Speed Heatran. And the idea here is that I still have a Nasty Plot, and I'd be able to run over his team. Basically, it. Um, the only Pokemon that re I'm really worried about is Reggie Leckley with this thing. So outside of that, I should be able to set up Nasty Plots and do a lot of damage. Next up, I have Crimson Mar Mega Scizor, Rocking Out, Butter Punch, U-Turn, Roost, and Jeweled Wingbeat. Um, bringing the Max for Death so that I can live a Fire-type attack from a Clefable if he chooses to bring one. And then after that, it's basically just a nice little pivot for us. Uh, because whenever we bring Mega Scizor, that's a big bait for, for Slowbro to come in, for Glyceco to come in, for Heatran to come in. Whenever it comes in on like Fable, I want to U-turn on that. I want to exploit uh, that uh, switching so I can bring in, say, the Kellyo or bring in my Nod my next wall breaker, Craw uh, Crawdont. So being able to do that would be very, very nice. And lastly, I'm bringing Savagery or Crawdont, rocking out a knockoff, Liquidation Taunt, and Aqua Jet. I'm bringing enough speed to outspeed, I believe it's zero speed Heatran, uh, or zero speed Fable. And the idea here is that knockoff Liquidation with, with Life Orb should be able to kill anything on his team. Uh, the taunt is to prevent the likes of Slowbro being able to set up, um, go for slack offs, go for calm minds, go for teleports, uh, that sort of thing. And the Aqua Jet is pure priority to be able to smack, um, to be able to smack the Regilecki and the Noivern, um, in particular. But that's the team, you guys. Let's get up into the battle. Alright, guys, here we are in the battle. As you can see, our opponent has brought Noivern, Gliscor, Heatran, Slowbro, Regilecki, and the Chestnut. So, uh, no Quag Sire that opens up the door immediately for my Keldeo. The has brought two faster threats in the Noivern and the Regilecki, so that is obviously a little bit problematic, uh, but we hopefully will be able to kind of deal with that. He has not brought the Clefable either, so that means that it really does open the door for my Deoxys to do a hell of a lot of work here um, by setting up and doing all sorts of shenanigans. Um, the, yeah, the fact that he has not brought either unaware Pokemon, like, I can definitely do a hell of a lot of damage here. Um, he's brought more of his more offensive Pokemon, for, so a little bit happy to see that, but we'll see how it goes. I think he may want to lead with the Chestnut in order to get spikes off. He may want to lead with the Gliscor either. I'm going to lead with my um, Deoxys and I'm just going to cause havoc. That's what I'm going to do. He does indeed lead with this thing. Uh, I'm quickly going to press Taunt here. Quickly, quickly, quickly going to press Taunt. Um, I don't want this thing set up Calm Minds, going a Toxic off, that sort of thing. I'm just going to Taunt it. I'm going to set up Calm Minds and... I'm going to I'm going to try and get him to beat me essentially. Um, by me being so fast, like I'm going to be able to just click taunts and just set up as in comes the glide score. I'm okay with this. As you go for that, uh, I'm going to just go grab a calm mind here. As you're taunted, you can't do any like sub shenanigans to me. As I'm just going to grab my calm mind there. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to go for a taunt right now. I do not want you. Do not want you even thinking, even considering doing anything funny with me right i'm clicking up i'm clicking taunt every time you come in with a slow pokemon and that's not taunted i'm taunting you literally that's what i'm doing that's literally what i'm doing every single time so i'm like you you know he knows my moveset now right he knows i'm calm mind taunt in comes the chestnut taunt yeah, dude like not happening it's not happening uh i'm clicking calm mind here again in comes the glide score perfect um i might he might go knock off here. I wouldn't mind clicking Psychic at this point. Is that worth it? Is that is it worth it clicking Psychic on this Glyce score here? Um, knowing that I'm at plus two, plus two. Uh, up against, uh, I don't know what kind of Glyce score this is. Uh, let's just say I'm at plus two. With, uh, hold on, let me, let me actually get my team. <laughs> I didn't even put my team properly. That just shows how like underprepared I am for this game. Sorry about this, guys. Um, let me import this really quick. Uh, let me go with Deoxys. And uh, let me take a look at my set. Uh, if I'm at plus... Ooh, do, 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 do. Let me just go... Uh, let's, let's just type in Psychic here really quick. <sighs> am I... Is this right? I don't think I this imported right at all. Yeah, 252 special attack. Am I mod? Yeah, hold on. And I'm modest. Yeah, this did not import in rightly at all, but it's okay. Uh, I can literally two shot him here. Um, I don't know how fast he is. 
So I'm just going to click Psychic. He is SD. Uh, now that knockoff might hurt, but I'm going to go click Psychic again. Get this thing broken. Get him out of here. So this guy scores an SD set. That obviously does suck, but we'll see what we can do with it. Um, now, let me just say he's 252. He had to be jolly there to outspeed me. So I do live this hit. As he went EQ, perfect. Thank God he didn't go knockoff. There's the Gliscor gone. Beautiful, that gives me lefties. Uh, you have to bring in, who do you bring in here? Heatran special. Uh, I know I outspeed you, so I'm just clicking taunt on you. You are magma storming on me, that's fine. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Um, we will get worn down here by this thing, but, let me so you are, you might be scarfed. You might be scarfed. Uh, Magma Storm did... Yeah, that looks like it did a max roll on me. Okay, so you look like you're an offensive one. That's okay. Uh, how much is my Shadow Ball doing to you now that you're offensive? Uh, it's not doing too much. Uh, I wouldn't mind clicking... No matter what, I'm going, I'm, I die here. So I think if I click the, if I click Psychic, if I click Shadow Ball, I'm getting a huge chunk off him. So I'm just going to click the, sh uh, the Shadow Ball. He's, uh, he's faster than me, so I'm pretty sure he is Scarfed. So if he's, he looks like he might be Scarfed, he tran. Which is okay. It's okay. No, he's not Scarfed. That's fine. He picks me off there. Uh, we're going right into my Seismitoad. And I am clicking... I think I just click rocks here, right? I think I just click the stealth rocks as he goes for solar beam. And he got the power herb. Nice tech. Nice, nice, nice tech. Nice tech, nice tech. That's fair enough. Right. Um, cool beans. Um, now at this point here, he still has the slow bro. So obviously that's problematic. Uh, I think we flip turn. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Caught me there with the nice little piece of tech. Uh, I think we can go out into Scizor. I could U-turn or I could dual wing beat. I think we go out into Togekiss instead. No, we go out into Crawlant all day here. We go out into Crawlant all freaking day here. Uh, my Crawlant. Uh, what's 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 your play here on my Crawlant? Uh, oh, with a slow with slow bro. Just regular, just slow bro with um. Would say no item. How much? How much is being done to me? Uh enough. Yeah, we just kick knock off here. It's he mega evolves. Forty nine percent. That's fine. He goes with body press. Kills me. It's okay. Um, that gives me you. You have not regenerate anymore, so I can just mega evolve and you turn around you. That's fine. Perfect. Um, you give me Toga Kiss. You give me Nasty Plot. Yeah, you give. I go Nasty Plot here. No way you're staying in here, your Rocky Helmet. Nasty Plot. Thank you. Uh, Toga Kiss. Nasty Plot up against. Heatran, I know you're offensive. And I've got the Aura Sphere here. Do I do enough with Aura Sphere? At plus two, and I'm 252. Uh, I should do. I should do enough where it's a roll. Thank you. Down goes the Heatran. That's beautiful. That leaves Reggie Leckley. Um, Reggie Leckley's a bit of an issue, but I still have my Spadef um, Scizor. To kind of do a little bit of work here, he has to bring in this Reggie Leckley though. He has to. Now, Reggie Leckley. Reggie Leckley. Reg Ooh. He has to bring this in, right? How do I even spell Reggie Leckley? I don't even have a clue. Um, just doing a quick calc here. I just want to see. What does he do? If, um, yeah, Derek, Derek comes in. I'm just going to say he brings the... He's going to have the Thunderbolt. And I'm gonna say he's modest. So it should kill me. Um, 
Where's my scissor? Should kill me. Where is it with scissor? Uh, my scissor set. Should do around 50%. Do I take the risk here and hope that he doesn't kill me? How do I win this game? This regulator is a big, big problem. Um, I could. Uh, if I do this. Yeah, no, Thunderbolt is killing me all the time. All the freaking time. Because he be, he will be modest. It's no doubt about it. He will be modest. Thunderbolt guarantees kills me. Right, so. How do we win this game then? Uh, so if Thunderbolt kills me, uh, I have to bring in Scizor. Scizor then has to... Scizor then will have to go U-turn after eating a potential, after eating 50%, which brings in Keldeo. It's not good. I think he sweeps here with this. I'm pretty sure he sweeps here with this. Um, I, think he has, I think he just clicks the T-Bolt. Now, who do I need the most here? Do I need, don't think I need Keldeo as much. But he does he has no idea what Kelly said I am just yet, right? So I could spook him. By just going hard Kelly here. I think we have to do that. So I'm gonna go Aura Sphere as he goes Volt Switch. We live on nine. Oh god. We got away with that. We got absolutely away with that. Uh I think he goes into I think he might go I don't know if he goes into Noiver or not. We got away with that. I don't know why he didn't just click T ball and just spammed it until he won. Um, I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, let's see where we get along. As my dog is going 90 downstairs. What is going on with him? Uh, okay, let's see. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I should be able to outrun, outrun you. So I can roost. Or do I just do I straight up air slash? I think I straight up air slash. We we'll just go straight up for the air slash. Or do I or do I or actually do, no air slash air slash air slash? Because if I roost and he goes out hard into Regilecki, it's a big problem. There we go. That's fine. Now he definitely brings this thing in again. Um, I think we go. I think we go air slash just in case he's. But yeah, he decides to pick us off. Weird. He's very worried about keeping this thing around, right? He's very, very worried about keeping this thing around. Um, it brings in the Mega Slow Bro. That obviously means I have to go into Mega Scizor here. There's no way you're staying in here, right? So I U-turn all day. All you, unless you slack off, I U-turn. But even then, you you don't know. He has he doesn't quite know what my set is here. I don't know what his set is either. To be fair, um, I don't think I do enough to this thing. Yeah, there we go. He's got that natural book. I think we're going to Keldeo. Does he just go for a scald? He does just go for a scald. Um, you have if you're not calm mind. You're gonna. Alright, I have to go calm mind here and hope he doesn't have side shock. Wait a minute. This is this is crazy. Uh, I know I kind of pretty much revealed what I am now to him, but um, I just want should kill. If I want to go for it, or spear should kill here too. Um. I think I'll go for the Aura Sphere. Down we go. That should bring the Reggie Leckley every time. He's probably wanting to go for the Volt Switch. And the uh, Neuvon will have the Fire type attack. Um, I'm going to go hard into Scizor here, predicting the Volt Switch. There we go, there we see it. Then comes this is in comes this thing. You should have the fire type attack, but on the off chance you do not, I will roost. There is the flamethrower. 
Perfect. Now, if your choice is some fashion, now is the time for me to set up a calm mind. Um, I have to do it now. If you, okay, we miss. He missed one hurricane. I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, I'm gonna go calm minds. Hold on there for a sec, you guys. All right. Uh, I got interrupted there, and in the meantime, he landed a hurricane. Um, so we lost. Uh, it is what it is. We lost 2-0. Um, it is what I think the, the tech with Heatran and kill us, and that opened the door for Reggie Leckley. Um, sorry about that. I know it was a chaotic ending. Um, but yeah, we lost. Uh, as I said at the start of the video, if I lose today, I, um, the minimum effort's going to be put in here. i got to focus on UBL um, and go from there. You can probably tell, not really enjoying life at the moment with Pokemon, but yeah, it is what it is. We'll get through it. But uh, yeah, a GG to our opponent. He definitely brought something a lot different than what I thought he was going to bring. I brought an awful lot of self to just try and overpower him, but it wasn't to be. Um, the Heatran power herb tech very nice probably should have read that but mm, wasn't thinking but yeah GG is to our opponent I'm going to wrap up there today uh, um, go check out his draft league profile link to in the description below and yeah if you enjoyed today's video please click the like button uh, if you haven't already please click the subscribe button and yeah I'm going to get out of here as always thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time